Oh. Ajax. Go on, I dare you. I dare you. I want it, I do. I want it. Oh my god. Oh. Ajax. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love that. Get in, man. What a tie. <laughs> that way in is going to be unbelievable. Ajax, the most successful club in Dutch football. They've won the Eredivisie 36 times, hence the three stars on their badge, a new one for every 10 league titles. They're also a footballing giant on the European stage, having won four European Cups or Champions Leagues. And this includes winning that cup three years on the bounce in the early 70s. That's pretty impressive. But what's gone wrong this season? Ajax made their worst start to a season in 59 years and were even bottom of the table for a spell last year. Fans were trashing their own stadium, multiple matches got suspended, the manager was even having items thrown at him from the stands. Oh, can you imagine that? And worst of all, they signed Jordan Henderson. I think that would be the tipping point for me. So, just arrived in the hotel and this is the situation. Yes, there's five of us in here, so it's going to be very tight, very fun. Bed, 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 double bed. Um, yeah, it's cosy, it's nice, it's small. And then you come out this window, obviously you won't be able to see anything now. But the canal is just there, unreal. So, the plan of action for this evening. It's currently Wednesday, there's plenty of Villa fans in Amsterdam. I've already seen a couple, um, so we'll go out tonight. Obviously, Simon wants to do karaoke, so hopefully we'll get that done. But yeah, just have a fun night, it's gonna be lively. Obviously, match day tomorrow. Amsterdam already looks absolutely unbelievable. It's gonna look so much better in the daytime, but I can't wait. It's gonna be a good night and a good day tomorrow. Up the Villa. <laughs> Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's nice to see Amsterdam in the sun. It is looking unreal. Well, last night was fun. A little bit of context. We were outside that bar with loads and loads of villa. And then we went on a little walk. I think we went to sleep eventually at about 4 a.m. So a few of the lads are a little bit worse for wear. I think Simon's still a little bit tipsy, to be honest. We went through a certain district that's red. Kids, ask your parents. Parents, I'm sorry. More research than anything. I've never been there before, so that was interesting, to say the least. I think this morning, the plan of action is about half 10 now, obviously. It's match day. I need to go and get our tickets. Need to have some breakfast, I think is the main thing. And then just see where the day takes us, really. See where all the Villa fans are. It should be a decent atmosphere, and it just feels massive today. Villa are playing Ajax tonight. That's mental, man. I can't wait. Yeah, but seeing Amsterdam in the day, like, it's so good. Obviously, we got here last night when it was dark, so it's going to be nice to explore. Right by the canal, a hotel here. Right by the canal. It looks absolutely unbelievable. Amsterdam, what a city. And it just feels, it just feels great today. Like, when I started this channel, we are at Rotherham, Barnsley, like, Derby, these League One teams now. And now we're at Ajax, one of the biggest clubs in Europe, playing them with the villa, that's going to be unreal tonight. Anyway, like I said, main plan of action, get some breakfast, explore Amsterdam, go and find the villa fans, it's going to be a good day. Look at the scenery here then, absolutely unreal, boats on the canals, our hotel is literally just here as well. Look how stunning this is. Amsterdam is absolutely stunning. The central station behind me is looking absolutely unreal. Just queued to get our ticket, by the way. It took about an hour in that queue. It was so, so slow. Finally got it. It's about midday now. We're going to have a little bit of an explore, probably have a couple more beers, then get to the ground. It's quite an early kickoff, 6.45 local time, so we'll see what happens. Amsterdam is so nice, though. It's been so good exploring it, and what a day for it as well. I mean, sure, it's a little bit cold, so I do regret that a little bit, but what a day for football. Behind me is the Royal Palace of Amsterdam. Don't ever say you never learn anything on this channel. Look at the architecture around here though. In this square, I mean, there's plenty of pigeons, but the architecture is so, so nice. What a city. I'm probably going to say something a little bit controversial now, but hear me out. As a selfish fan, I would rather win the Conference League, win tonight, go and win the competition, than see Villa get Champions League. And I think it's different because obviously we are 
quite privileged to be able to go to all of these games, but also we put in the hard yards and it's not easy like in terms of expense and travel and time and time off actual real work. And I think I've spoken to other lads as well who are in similar positions to like me and Simon, Owen and Jamie who go to all of these games. And they have sort of said like if we win in Athens, that is so much more memorable and incredible and I've never seen us win a trophy and that'll be that'll mean so much more to me than seeing Villa get Champions League. I'll caveat that by saying that yes, that's looking at it from a selfish fan's point of view. I understand that for the club, for financial reasons and for stability and the draw of getting players in, Champions League is so much better. And when we play Real Madrid at Villa Park next season, obviously I'll be loving it. And if I'm going to be honest, I think we can get both as well. I don't think there's any reason why Villa couldn't do both this season. But if you had a gun to my head, I'm going to be honest, I would rather win the Conference League. But I know everyone's got their own prerogative and everybody's got their opinions on that. So let me know what you reckon to that. But I reckon I'll be in the minority there. Cover from the uh, the karaoke last night. I'm a little bit tired. I'm a little bit tender. Did you wake uh, up drunk this morning? Absolutely. That's I'm, Amsterdam for you, absolutely. mate. Absolutely. I don't think I've been sober in the last sort of what is it, 24 hours. <laughs> isn't it, to be honest, but here we go. Here Phenomenal. We what do you reckon today, then, mate? Excited? Going to yeah, be good, innit? Excited. Innit? Big, big European tie. It's what we want, isn't it? It's what we're here for. Yeah. Um, tough game, though. Tough game. Here's one for you. I, I said this earlier. It might be a little bit controversial, but I said I'd, as a selfish fan, I'd rather win the Conference League than get Champions League football. Not for what it means to the club, but for yeah. us personally. I, I get it. Yeah, I get it from our personal perspective. But I don't want to answer that question just because. Ah, uh, you're. Boring, I, know man. I know it's a cop out, but I don't feel like we. I don't feel like we need to answer that. I think we. Can I both. said we'll do both. I think we can we'll do, do both. both. So All let, horses. Let's do it. All guys. Horses. Next Good up, horses. let's get to the ground. Right. Next up, the Johan Cruyff Arena. To the Champions League. Look at the state of this. Unreal. What a stadium this is. It's no Zrinski Master. It is unbelievable. It's like a spaceship in the middle of nowhere. I've heard quite a bit about these stairs. Apparently they're worse than Newcastle. I'll be the judge of that. I mean, they could have decorated the place. Do you know what I mean? It's like we're in the bottom of a boat here. Portal, more stairs. More stairs. I mean, good luck to the two and a half thousand Villa fans who are going to be absolutely battered getting up these stairs. Woo! We have made it finally. Was that as bad as Newcastle? Probably about the same, to be fair. How, uh, how steep is this? It's very steep. I feel like I'm going to be sick a little bit. Is that, is that the booze or the away end? Probably a bit of both. <laughs> I am absolutely praying that it comes through on camera how unbelievably steep this is. Like, I don't think I've ever experienced anything like this in an away end. Like, Wigan, Rotherham, for those who know, is very steep. But this is unbelievable. And obviously, the best bit about playing European teams, be at in the ground. Could be a little bit dangerous for all these Villa fans here, but you cannot complain with this. Interesting team, by the way. Conza and Torres come in. Uh, McGinn's on the bench. Robinham starts. That's a big opportunity for him, oh, isn't it? His first, his, well, it's not his first start, but his first, Euro, his first European start. Yeah. That's the Villa, he's playing here. At the, confidence. At the it shows Euro confidence. Career. That's mad, isn't it? But yeah, big night for Tim, really. Um, but yeah, strong lineup. You know, made a few changes as I expected, but that defence looking strong, isn't yes. it? With Longley, Torres, and Conza in Definitely. there. Definitely. What do you reckon then? I we've, we've said all day that a draw wouldn't be the end of the world. I, I got a feeling we'll win. I, I don't think it'll, I don't think we'll you know batter them or anything. No. But I think we'll win. I'm going to go. I'm going to go for a clean sheet. I'm going to oh. go for a. No, I am. I'm going to go for a clean sheet. I'm going to go for a one 0 Villa. Oh, I'd love that. I'd love that. Take that back to Villa Park. I wouldn't mind that at all. I'm going to go with a two one. Clean sheet, potentially. I don't know. I don't think Ajax are there to be sniffed at. I'm going to go 2-1, and Diaby's going to continue his decent bit of form and get a goal. Oh, right. Niall, Ajax away. What's your score prediction, son? 2-1. 2-1. We're going to get the win today. Yeah. Who are your scorers? Ollie Watkins and John McGinn. Good lad. Give us another Villa. Under Villa. Right then, Finn. Ajax away. What's your score prediction, son? 2-1. I said the same. Spot on. Who's going to score today, though? Watkins double. Oh, Watkins brace. Give us a big up the Villa, son. Go on, Villa! Oh, I love it. Well, where we've come from, 
So this ground is absolutely you kind unbelievable. Of have to pinch yourself a little bit, don't you? I 100%. mean, even from Saturday coming from Luton to the Johan Cruyff Arena, it's a bit Literally, like from from your back garden basically <laughs> all the way to so this this like mob basically is unbelievable. I cannot believe it. I think I know what you're going to say, but what do you reckon today? Three one. Three one. Three one. Take it back to Villa Park and just take the mic. You've got to take take it back to Villa. You've got to win 100% away from home. You've got to win away. It's unbelievable at the moment. Yeah, we are, to be fair. It's a good point. I mean, I imagine, imagine winning here. That would be like bucket list stuff, wouldn't it? Dreams come true. So nice. It's going to happen. Up the it's villa. It's going to happen. Up the villa. Why is the music so loud for the warmer? Yeah. Give us a big up the villa, son. Up the villa! Not 
a lot created by Villa then, mate. I think the main chances in the game, I mean, Diaby could have done a little bit better on a couple of occasions, but their number nine's causing a couple of problems, cause, caught him offside a couple of times, but he's their main threat, isn't it? Yeah, he, yeah, he is. He's, he's quick and powerful, isn't he? He's, uh, he had that one chance down here, which he put into the side net, and it should have done better, but yeah, it's been a bit of a. Um, I think, I think their, their tactics have kind of stifled us a little bit. They're quite negative, isn't it? It's like uh, five at the back for them, and they're, they're, they're not allowing us any sort of room, are they? And, we, we, haven't, we haven't been amazing. I mean, in terms of like midfield, we haven't kept the ball well enough, I don't think. Yeah, we haven't looked after the ball very well. No. I think Tim, Tim's had a hard game, obviously. It's a tough environment to come into, but I think we're missing that beginning in the midfield, aren't we buzzing around? Yeah, I think so. I think, I think we've missed him making his little runs and <laughs> holding onto the ball and relieving a bit of pressure and stuff. But I think, I think Emery will be the happy of the two managers, away from home. You know, you know, a big crowd. It's like a draw today, yeah, realistically, you probably would. No, it's never easy in, the, in Europe. You don't come to teams away from home and absolutely batter, batter them unless they're absolutely terrible. So You're 1 0 still on? Yeah, I, I, still, I still have faith. I think we'll be better in the second half and uh, you might see a couple of changes. Bailey, maybe McGinn at some point. <laughs> and Diaby off, McGinn and Bailey on, just what the doctor ordered, that'll do me. Come on boys, bit of reinforcements. Not the most entertaining thing in the world, not the most entertaining game, but away from home against a side like that, an atmosphere like this, you'd take that, wouldn't you? Go back to Villa Park and you'd fancy us, wouldn't you, 100%? Yeah, it's what I said before the game. I thought tonight was going to be tough, and I think in any result which sets us up in the second leg, it was going to be good enough for Villa tonight, whether that be 0 0, 1 0, whatever. Weren't the greatest of games, really. There was very, very limited. Did we really test the goalkeeper? Not really. No, we had a couple of chances no. at the end, didn't we? Yeah, probably not. We had a couple of little half chances. I mean, Eddie Martins has made one yes. very good save. Just a word about the referee performance. Absolute joke. I mean, both how, sides end with 10 men. Yeah, I mean, how two players got sent off in this game? was absolutely ridiculous. I mean, it, it wasn't a bad challenge in the whole the whole 90 minutes. I'd love to see that Conza one back. It looks so weird. And obviously, he's going to be out for the home leg as well. Yeah, he will. He will, but, you know, it, it's one of them. You'd rather lose him for that in the Premier League. So, 
Yeah, you know what? A good result. Like, it's a tough place to come, yeah. and it's a, it's a good result. I think we're in the stronger hot seat for the home leg as well. You'd fancy Villa now. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That concludes Villa in Amsterdam. And do you know what we said last night? Like, a nil-nil is not the end of the world. We'll take it back to Villa Park. And we've seen it throughout the Conference League this season. Like, we don't have to go hard. We don't have to go so intense because we've got that sort of security of a second leg. And Unai Emery would be the happy of the two managers. I was speaking to loads of Ajax fans last night and they thought they were going to get pumped 2 or 3 nil. And do you know what? They probably could have done if Villa. It was, if it was a one-leg thing, but we don't need to do that. Look, we've got our biggest game of the season on Sunday. Literally in about 48 hours' time. So we don't need to go mental. We've got a clean sheet. We've got a draw. We'll take it back to Villa Park. The annoying thing was about Izzy Conce's red card. That was absolutely ridiculous. That referee was just absolutely terrible last night. He had no clue what he was doing. He was so erratic and it was a hard watch. But in terms of the trip overall, the city is so lovely. If you've never been, even if it's not for football, obviously, come to Amsterdam. It is such a wicked place. And it's the perfect place for a Villa away day, 100%. It has been really, really good. So enjoyable. We've got a couple of things planned today. It's Friday morning now. We've got Anne Frank's house this afternoon to visit. We're going to an ice bar tonight. So we're really making the most of it. We come back Saturday afternoon. And then we've got Tottenham on Sunday. Can't wait for that. If you have enjoyed this video, please do smash a like on it. If we can go big, let's aim for 2,000 likes. If we can hit that, that'll be amazing. Comment your thoughts as well. Get involved in the comments section down below. What did you make of that game? Talk to me about Tottenham on Sunday. How are you feeling for that one? And of course, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We are this close to 60,000 subscribers. So if we can do that, I'll be massively appreciative of that. And without further ado, we're going to have another wicked day in the city today. Head back to the UK for Tottenham on Sunday. I shall see you then. Up the villa.